Brothers, um, I'm not going to lie to you. I cried last night. And I cried a little bit this morning. I know this is a bitch thing to do. Please do not roast me in the comments for this. I don't know, other than Jerry dying, I don't know what the fuck we can do. I honestly don't know. You go 12 and 5 in three straight seasons. Three seasons in a row, you go 12 and 5 and only have one playoff win to show for it. You go 36 and 15 over three seasons. Two NFC East division titles. Your quarterback is an all pro and you still don't win. You still can't beat the 49ers or the Packers. The Packers were 9-8, and eight, squeaked into the playoffs, and they destroyed us. They hung 48 points on us. <clears throat> we keep going through this cycle of firing and hiring. and Well, this is not quite a cycle. We hold on to coaches far too long, like Jason Garrett. We, we hold on to them way too long. Brothers, I... <sighs> The defensive schemes yesterday, we come out in a zone when we've been playing man-to-man -man all year. I don't understand that. I <laughs> don't get it. I don't know what the fuck was up with C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott. I don't understand why Coach McCarthy went over to C.D. Lamb to try to calm him down. I don't know what the fuck that was. I don't know. I honestly cannot tell you what the fuck that was. C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott have been cool all season. C.D. Lamb has been even keel all season. C.D. Lamb is not much of a rah-rah emotional guy. I don't know what the fuck. Even Greg Olson was... I don't even know if Greg is his name. I think that is. I'll just call him Mr. Olsen, tight end from the Panthers. Even Mr. Olsen pointed this out yesterday during last night's game. What the fuck is up with C.D. Lamb? What is up with Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb's connection? I don't know. That was a fuck. That was weird as fuck, man. Ah, uh, brothers, this really, really crushed my soul, man. I have a newborn daughter over there <clears throat> in the next room, and I love the shit out of her. I have two girls. I have all the reason to be happy, and yet these fucking cowboys ruined me. They ruined me. Brothers, I honestly do not. I'm going to be honest with you. If I didn't have a family and I was watching this team, I don't know what I'd do. I honestly don't know what I would do. I would engage in some self-destructive behavior watching this shit team. I would drink all day and night dealing with this fucking team if I did not have a family. I have a wonderful wife. I have two beautiful daughters. I have so much to look forward to. And this fucking piece of shit fucking team still crushes my soul. I really hate, I hate how I'm so connected to this team. I can't help it, man. And I want to get rid of it, but I just fucking can't. I, I am so fucking tired of being emotionally and mentally tied to a team that doesn't give a fuck about me. I'm tired of it, man. I can't, I wish I could turn it off. I can't turn it off. Brothers, I know this is, this is trash. This is pathetic coming from me. I get it. Brothers, I can't help it, man. I have everything to look forward to. And this team still crushes my spirit, man. I hate it so fucking much. And next season, I'm going to do the same goddamn thing. It's insanity. Brothers, I, I, wish I, I wish I was one of those people who didn't give a shit about sports, who didn't care about a specific team. Those people are so fucking lucky. They don't have the soul ties to a team. Brothers, we're cursed. I'm cursed. I, I can't turn it off, man. I can't.
And it kills me, man. And I'm doing everything I can not to shed a tear on this fucking camera. Because y'all are really going to bitch me out. Y'all going to roast the shit out of me. And I don't want to deal with that. Because I... I... I wish I did not give a shit about this team. And to be quite honest, I don't know where we go moving forward. What can you do? Like, the only thing we can do is add a running back and add linebackers. That's all we really can do right now. I mean, brothers, how can you improve? How, how can you fundamentally, like, change a 12 and 5 team? How, how do you get better from this? Like, it's like we're maxed out. We just have to change a couple things, but we're maxed out. There's nothing much we can do. This team was built to go to the NFC Championship game, and they fumbled it. I... I gotta go. I gotta go.